Hey everyone, this is Alex from warnoffkeys.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can generate QR codes such as this one using a React project. As you see here, we have a component and we're passing in a prop that says text equals warnoffkeys. And if I use this QR code reader, it's then going to read the data in this QR code and it says warnoffkeys right here. So a link to this reader will be in the description. It's a free Chrome extension. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be creating this exact project so you can generate QR codes within your own React projects. If you ever need help when following one of my videos, you can simply scroll to the description and join the community Discord server. From there, simply click on how to ask for help in the opening channel, and then follow the instructions on how to ask your questions. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. So I'm now inside of an empty VS Code workspace. You can use whatever text editor you want. And I have a console over here. This is called Commander, but you can use any console you want, including the built-in VS Code console. However, I prefer Commander because it's at the bottom right of my screen rather than the entire width of my screen. So within here, I'm gonna use NPX Create React App in order to create a React project for us. So I can say NPX Create React App, and then I can name the project in this case, I'm just going to call it QR code. So now that this is done, I can use ls, and we see that it created a QR code folder. I can then use cd to navigate into that folder, and if we use ls, we now see all of our React files. From within here, I can use npm run start, and it should automatically open up this React project in your default browser. So here we see the default React environment. There's a lot of things we don't actually need within here. We're gonna keep it very simple and only focus on the QR code functionality. So the actual visuals and the proper tests of this application are not needed. So with that said, I'm going to delete all of these files aside from index.js and app.js. Afterwards, I'm gonna go into index.js and I'm going to remove the CSS import because that's one of the files we deleted, as well as the report web vitals file because it also no longer exists. Because we're not importing that, I'm gonna get rid of this bottom section here. And then I'm going to save this. And I'm gonna go inside of our app file and I'm going to delete everything in here. I can then create a very basic functional component. So I can say const app equals arrow function. And within here, we have to return some JSX, which will be rendered onto our screen. So we can return a div that just simply says, hello world. We can then export this as the default export. And if I save this and we refresh, we then see hello world on our screen. So now everything is working and we have a very simple React application. Now we need to install the QR code npm package. So I'm gonna use control C to terminate the current process. And I'm gonna say npm install QR code. I can then press up a couple times to go back to npm run start and that'll open up our React app again. So we still see hello world here. And now within our app, I'm gonna to want to import QR code. So we can import QR code from QR code. This has to be spelled the exact same way because this is the name of the package we're importing. So my goal for this component is to be able to pass in some text and then have a QR code be rendered that represents that value. So for example, inside of our index file, I can pass in text equals worn off keys or anything else. And then a QR code that represents worn off keys will then be displayed. So if I save this, we can go back. We're gonna have access to our props here, which we can actually just destructure right here as text. So now we have access to the text that is passed in. So how QR codes work is we need an image and the source of that image will be generated from the QR code package, which we've imported right here. So let's first create an image. And let's have the source equal to a source variable, which we'll create soon. The goal here is to generate a QR code whenever this component is first rendered. And so we can use the use effect hook in order to do that within React. So let's go ahead and import that. So here we can import use effect. And we also need some way to store this which we can use state for. So we can also import the use state hook. At the top of our component, 
I'm going to say const. We're going to use array destructuring by calling use state. And we're going to pass in an empty string by default. So this is the starting value for this state object. And the two things that are destructured here within this array will first be the actual variable itself. And the second will be a function which will allow us to correctly update that variable. So let's first start with source and then set source. So this is the actual variable that holds our value. And this is the same name as what's used in the image. And then when we want to update it, we will then use the set source function. So we can now use the use effect hook, which will have a callback function here and an array here. This function we ran whenever anything inside this array is updated. This is often used when it comes to other variables such as source. But in this case, with an empty array, this will automatically be ran whenever our component is first rendered. So within here, we then want to use the QR code package that we imported to be able to generate a proper source and then set it inside of this variable using this function. So here I can say QR code dot to data URL. And then I can pass in some text, which we have access to from our props. I can then pass in text. And this has a promise, so I can then use dot then. I can have a callback function here. And a parameter we're going to have is going to be our data, which is basically just the URL. We can then say set source and pass in the data. And if I save this and I refresh over here, we now see a QR code. And if I click on this, we now see worn off keys. However, this code right here can be simplified because we are only doing an immediate function call. We can actually pass in this function as a reference into the dot then function. Now, if you had other code, you wouldn't be able to do this, but in this exact simple example, we can actually just pass in set source and this will have the same exact result. If I refresh, we see the same thing right here. That's because instead of passing in our own anonymous error function that then has the parameter we want, we can actually just pass this as the function and it will still pass in the given data URL into this function, which will then set it inside of the source variable, which will then cause everything to be rendered and the image will then use it. So to show that this is working, we can go back and we can say warnoffkeys.com. And if I save this and I refresh, we now see the image is slightly larger. Also, if I click on this, we now see warnoffkeys.com. And the size of your QR code will be dependent on the size of the data you're providing. So if I refresh this now, we should see a much larger QR code because it's forced to store more information here. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, consider subscribing. And if my videos have helped you out, please consider clicking on the join button below this video to become a channel member. Thanks for watching.